You imagine you talking to this hot blonde girl and you webcam with her and you send her messages and you find out it's actually just a bald headed top G on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were talking to a bitch named Mercedes. <laughs> Turned out it's a nigga obsessed with Bugais. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> They're making fun of his fucking tryhard. Really fucking stupid. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to Abba and Preach, going over the details of Andrew Tate self-snitching hard on camera. A lot of you think he's innocent. Okay, if you don't know, he's in jail right now in Romania. A lot of you think he's innocent. A lot of you think he's guilty. Who knows, okay, but objective, hard, empirical evidence has come out that does not look good. And we're gonna be reviewing that in today's video. Before we jump into that, I want to remind you guys that tonight is our event. It starts at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be teaching all that I know about Cold Approach, including night game at bars and clubs and day game, street smalls and cafes. Literally everything I know about Cold Approach, nothing held back, goes into far further depth than I ever cover on YouTube. It's $27 for general admission. It's Friday night, tonight, and Saturday night, tomorrow night. If you sign up for an additional $97, you get VIP, which gets a bonus third day on Sunday, additional Q and A's with me personally. You get a bunch of day game infield training, uh, infield breakdowns, okay, 30 videos to keep. You get lifetime access to the training and live telegram chat support when you're out doing the approaches. Check the link in the description, sign up. It is the most value we give for the cheapest price by far because it's worth several thousand dollars. It's 27 bucks for general admission. Anyone can afford that. So go sign up. Okay, before the event begins. And if you're late, if you're seeing this video over the weekend, you can still sign up and you get 30 days access to the recordings for general admission and you get lifetime access for VIP. Okay, let's jump right in. So Andrew Tate says, you're not stupid and, you, and he's talking to one of the victims. You're not stupid and you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. And the victim says, the webcam? And he says, I've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. Some of the girls. Now the video that I did where I dressed up as Andrew Tate, where I had the bald head and all that shit, I showed his companies, the webcam companies, how they're not making that much money. It looked very suspicious. He also has like exotic car rental companies and shit like that. So check my video on the end screen. You'll see my impersonation of the top G himself and go over some interesting details there. Who worked for me, I use them to do other things. So, you know, this is supposedly coming from a wiretap that the prosecutors released if it is indeed legitimate, then this is Andrew Tate admitting that he's laundering money, okay, which does not look good. To move money or illegal things, documents, and I will never do that with you. If you aren't aware, Tate's in prison in Romania. Some people say he's innocent, other people say he's guilty. And you guys remember us, we said, uh, wait till the evidence comes out and we'll find out. Well, a lot of evidence has been coming out. That prosecutor's office in Romania has been leaking a lot. And uh, <laughs> how can you be a prosecutor's office and leaking that much? Let's always do it. They really? do it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, they leak what they want to the press. You have to understand. It's a whole. All right, he's already admitted to tax evasion and fraud. It's not just winning a case. There's a lot of ego involved. These people want to win these big cases. But they got when the FBI says it's got a what 96, 98 conviction rate. The reason why is because they like that shit on their resume. They take on cases they know they're gonna win, yeah. and they only put forth the case yeah. when they know they're gonna win. Yeah. And so this kind of thing right here, have you seen what they leaked? No, I haven't seen what they leaked. Listen, they didn't prosecute Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate prosecuted Andrew Tate. My homie was self snitching. Oh, that bad. Watch the tape. No, basically, <laughs> watch the tape. Trafficking, we have three things. Force, fraud, or coercion. Force, obviously, that's like being in chains and you know not being allowed to leave. Fraud, being kept there under false pretenses. If there's an element of fraud in the way that you are enticing somebody or keeping somebody in a particular position to work for you, and if it's in the sex business, that's sex trafficking or coercion. Let's kind of look at one of his very first videos that he did. These are his words, not my words. When you say webcam company, people assume, oh, it's just a sex fest. But in reality, it's a shitload of people management. The HR category of the webcam business is, is the largest and most important thing. You're effectively taking girls, teaching them how to make unlimited money from home, and then making sure they give it all to you. Your goal is 
to inspire a girl to make money. So the way you're going to do that is you have to have some element of influence and you're going to have that element of influence through her respecting you, looking up to you and her believing she needs you. And this is extremely important because at the beginning she will need you, but then she won't need you. But you have to keep that fallacy, keep that dream alive. Fallacy. That's his word. And what is fallacy? Fraud. That's a pimp. <laughs> that's the thing like guys like andrew tate just like got too caught up in like this fucking iceberg slim you know all the all this like old school like pimping shit right he's trying to be like a virtual pimp he has stuff on the wall about like smacking the girls and girls are coming forth and saying you know there's a girl claiming she was raped by him in 2015 and she filed a police report about that there's new rape allegations against him from 2022 in romania in march and other girls are saying they've seen him strangling and choking out girls other girls are saying they weren't allowed to leave all this stuff it's looking really fucking bad and everyone's like no it's the matrix it's a conspiracy let's look at the hard evidence here in this video and you know again who knows but let's look at some of the facts here that's that's exactly what a pimp does I knew some street pimps, I've known them for a long time. Straight street pimping is a completely, in fact, no, it's not a completely different game. The psychological aspect is the same. She can't do this without you to ensure that she doesn't do it without you. At the beginning, she can, but there'll become a point she can. But you being here, it synergizes this teamwork energy. We're gonna do this together. Yeah, you go on the camera, don't worry, I'll talk to the guys, I'm gonna to talk to them. We're a team, a happy, positive teamwork. There's no negative energy in this business. You imagine you talking to this hot blonde girl and you webcam with her and you send her messages and you find out it's actually just a bald headed top G on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were Wait. talking to a bitch named Mercedes. <laughs> Turned out as a nigga obsessed with Bugais. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's why. <awesome. laughs> They're making fun of his fucking tryhard nonsense. Oh, hey, I've got a Bugatti. What color is yours? Blah, blah, blah. All these little kids are saying that around the world. Really fucking stupid. It's not even registered in his name, by the way. It's like some fucking shit in Dubai. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why I'm having this face is because. But yeah, Tate was fucking running the messaging behind these girls' accounts. So he was talking to the dudes. Is the amount. <laughs> I didn't realize how much foot and mouth could contain. Oh, oh, he's fucking up. Oh, oh, they got all the receipts on this guy. He's fucked up all over the place for many years. Okay, there's like deleted tweets where he said that at least 40% of the reason he moved to Romania was because they're easier on rape. Okay, like, like they prosecute rape less or something. And then he followed up and he said that he's not a rapist, but that he likes the idea of being able to do whatever he wants. Okay, so again, like he, this is what this video is about here with Album Preach, is Andrew fucking, you know, making him his own self look bad through shit that he said publicly. I think it's worse. <sighs> you have to be positive. So by you typing for the girl, you maximize your money, and also she believes she needs you, which is extremely important. Another reason to use Shadowbank is because you, they will pay you in Bitcoin. And this is amazing because the you've all seen the thought audit shit that's going on. You've all seen the fucking legalities of banking. Trying to get money out of these sites into your bank without paying a shitload of tax is actually very difficult. See, it's that that. Whole now he's instructing guys how to evade taxes. All avoiding taxes, and and it's not legal to do that. So in the last six months, Chatrate have released a Bitcoin option. So they'll pay you in Bitcoin. Tax is also another important element for controlling your woman. You're not going to pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin. So you don't need to pay tax to anybody. Tell your girl that you're paying the tax because girls are lazy. And girls are stupid. See, and he goes around and he's like, I've never said anything misogynistic. My message is not misogynistic at all. He just said girls are lazy and girls are stupid. He said girls can't drive. Okay, he said girls belong in the kitchen making sandwiches. These are all like blatant statements he's made and his defenders come to the rescue and they're like, no, he's a great guy. He loves women. He would never say that. He's saying it on camera. People are just delusional. Okay, this is called cognitive dissonance. A lot of people look up to this guy because he's parading around on Instagram with cars and jets and stupid bullshit like that. And then when he's caught on camera, like incriminating himself in all sorts of different ways, like you see here, he's instructing tax evasion. You see that he's talking about lying to the girls with false pretenses. Okay, the wiretap was talking about laundering dirty money. Yes, no one knows what's the case, but these things look very bad. Okay, objectively. Girls don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you. Now he's saying girls don't understand how taxes work. Think about how dumb that is. And a lot of guys are probably like, yeah. It's like, no, 
like half the half the world is women. They're paying their taxes just fine. They understand. Okay, he's just being a fucking misogynist. And you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we made this much money, but I'm going to pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. She'll sit there and go, okay, okay. Now that allows you to do two things. One is another control element. If I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. So I used to pay my girls 30%. So for every $10,000 they made, I give them three, and I keep seven. They thought they were on 50%, and I said that the disparity is because of taxes. So you're on 50%, we get to pay the tax first, and then it's 50-50. So really you're paying 30, you tell them you're paying 50, the difference is in the tax. That's where the disparity lies, taxes. If, you, if they don't believe you or they want to get fresh or whatever, print out some tax forms. I see this all the time. I just print out some random tax forms and say, yeah, sign here and sign that. This is like him fucking just talking about being fraudulent here. What is it? It's for the tax. You want to pay the tax or not? Ooh, okay. By the way, I want to stress, guys, this event we're putting on this weekend, okay, slightly off topic. I will teach you everything I know about cold approach going far beyond anything I've ever gone into on YouTube. All the objection answers, all the pull scripts, what to do in every situation, etc. It's incredibly valuable. I'll be doing infield breakdowns. Go look at the page at the very least and see if it's right for you. It's only 27 bucks, okay? And the reason why it's so cheap is we wanna blow you away with how much we can help you in cold approach so that you wanna learn the rest of the system from me, okay? Just sign away. I don't know what the fucking signing. Let's throw them away afterwards. They, they think something's happening. Something real is happening. Nothing's happening except me get rich, bitch. So we started, all right? He's already admitted to tax evasion and fraud. I mean, it's not a mission. He's this is a course he's running. He's teaching people. That's what he's teaching. And that's, yeah, that's in his fucking teaching course. All right, so he's telling guys in mass to go out and commit fraud and tax evasion. Girls are coming forth saying that he raped them, okay, allegedly, uh, and, and on and on. They're saying that he's doing human trafficking, that he's involved in organized crime. And he's in jail saying, hey, everyone, this is the matrix. It's all a conspiracy, and there's zero evidence of anything. Okay, we're seeing evidence right here. He doesn't mean he's doing that now. Now, now. I'm just playing devil's. <laughs> it's, it's a very hard job. I'm just, I'm not saying. <laughs> so, 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 so. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> he said that's what he was doing with these girls. That's what he said he was doing. Yeah. The women saying he did this to us. Oh. <sighs> What, you think they're going to look at the bank records and see that the money, oh, he was paying them 50-50? What you think? Let's be honest. If someone admits to what they're doing, just believe them. But to his defense, I got nothing. <laughs> Guys, he's self-snitching. So what you're telling me is that they got him on frauding the girls and defrauding the government. Is that what you're saying? I just want you guys to understand, like, just here, we're not even going to the human track, just right there. This man was stealing from the people that were working for him. Right there. Bad guy. I, I called this fucking, you know, last spring, almost a year ago, in 2022, in like, you know, March, April time frame. I heard too much behind the scenes about how fucked up these guys are, how shady they are, how manipulative they are, how deceptive they are, how much they're lying, what piece of shit they are, how much of an act they're putting on, etc. I fucking blocked them both, washed my hands with them, spoke out publicly, took a lot of flack for it. Oh, he's jealous. He's jealous. Listen, open your fucking ears. Listen to what's going on here. Okay, and then reevaluate if you think I'm jealous. He didn't even care. He said, I'm getting rich, bitch. Fuck you. He didn't care. He was stealing from it. If that's your job, how would you feel about that? Would you not want this person charged for that crime? Listen, if my employer even stole $1 an hour from me, <laughs> what is this shirt that Preach is wearing? It looks like a fucking fraternity shirt. I'd be pissed. Thousands every single month? Something real is happening. Nothing's happening except me get rich, bitch. You have to have girls. You cannot do a business relationship with a female. I'll tell you why. Women have sex with somebody. If they're not fucking you, they're fucking somebody else. And that other person she's fucking is going to have the control over her mind as opposed to you. And if he controls her mind and you don't control her mind, once she starts to pick it up a bit after a few weeks, a few months, whatever, and realizes how to make money on her own, or she's going to run off and pay her boyfriend, or them two are going to go traveling in Southeast Asia and she's going to work as she goes, or she's going to go to her boyfriend and say, look, fuck it, you type for me. Oh, yeah, but you're always working. I have to do some traveling and you can't come. I want to bring you with me. Traveling is a great one because the thing about this business is mobile. If you can find a good Airbnb with good internet, you can run it somewhere else. So it's a good little caveat to throw in. Uh, you're always working. Why don't you work for me so we spend more time together? Work for you doing what? Say, well, I have a webcam business. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, okay, I know you don't want to do that, but listen. Come, let's have a meeting. Let's just talk about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Fine. But let me explain. 
Now he's like instructing guys how to fucking control women's minds, right? And he's also gone on record publicly talking about how he prefers like 18, 19 year olds because it's easier to leave his imprint. Okay, now he's talking about whoever's fucking the girl is controlling her mind and you want that to be you. It's all very fucking bad shit. Not to mention there's tons of impressionable young men all around the globe that got inundated with his bullshit misogynistic content that refused to be taught by teachers in classrooms or like telling women they, they belong in the kitchen and all this stuff. He's setting society back a great deal, okay? And he's trying to become like a martyr. And, you know, when he goes down, if he goes down, uh, for all these real, you know, pieces of evidence against him, and who knows what else they have. This is just what's been leaked public or, or what people have found in his past videos. He will become a martyr in a way, right? And, and people will still idolize him and respect him and the, and the fucking terrible toxic message will live on even if he gets, you know, sent to jail for a while. To you properly. In fact, I'll bring one of the girls who works for me. You, your bottom bitch, the new girl, you go out for fucking a nice dinner. Your bottom bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. The girl has to hear from a girl. And this is why your bottom bitch has to be trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. Remember Glenn Maxwell? That was the girl that recruited for Jeffrey Epstein. Almost identical to what he's talking about here. Yeah. So they're talking about with the Jeffrey Epstein case, all right? where there was like a girl that was recruiting other girls. By the way, David Bond idolizes that, according to Bradicus. Even more fucked. And David Bond tries to replicate that shit. Now we have Andrew Tate, who's talking about recruiting a bottom bitch to get other girls involved, okay? And, that, and those are the two Romanian girls that went to jail with him. You guys remember. So th this is why this is important, this push right here. It doesn't prove anything, but it is one of the little piece of evidence that they add in for the whole trafficking charge. Basically, he he has a woman, okay, who used to be a former police officer in Romania. She's the one who does the recruiting and the managing of the women. Why? Because women are much more likely to be roped into these kinds of things if they're hearing it from another woman. So when he sets up his organization, right, because they're accusing him of running a criminal organization. He has the woman who he calls his bottom bit, right? to uh, recruit the other women. Okay, now, there's some transcripts, because they did some wiretaps, they seen their phones, they seen all their technology. So there's some conversations that they're using now. I want you to also know the context of the country's in. Andrew Tate is a foreigner living in Romania as a rich person. Trying to get, trying to fucking steal from the government? And he's also spoken about the reason why he left the UK to go to Romania is because, you know what I mean? La la laws are a little bit lax. They're not like, it's not as repressive. So this is how he talks about Romania and going and to the, jail there, okay? This and by the, by the way, the context of his statement about what, what a big reason he moved to Romania is he's saying that they're less strict on rape punishment there specifically, which is shady on its own. And then come to find out, he's been accused of rape multiple times. This, this is pulled from his PC and then it was leaked to the press, okay? So this is something that they got. Romanian court, so Get me out of jail. The law says you're guilty. I said get me out of jail. Don't go see a lawyer to talk about the law. I have committed multiple felonies. How much Fix does it problem. cost to make this all go away? Also, when you're real G's that you're here, you're there, you're everywhere. You gotta go to Now he just keeps acting like he's untouchable and above the law and Money will just make it go away. Oh, then you gotta go to Warsaw, fucking Dubai, Miami. Anyone who watches State Confidential knows I'm all over the place. So I end up with all these chicks just stuck in their house, sitting there, bored, completely in love with me. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed out. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants. That's the other thing. He like doesn't let chicks out of the house. Okay, that there's been reports that he would, you know, allegedly was even taking passports. Some people are claiming of girls from other countries and they weren't allowed to leave without being escorted by someone, by like one of Andrew's fucking security team, right? They were always meant to be staying inside. No clubs, nothing. But here's even the kicker. Looking at private videos that are part of the police file, uh, from the con see, the following passages from the context of this content, there is no doubt a deep lack of respect for the legal norms and a total indifference to the social protected values that the defendant gives proof of. Also, the attitude of disregard towards women in general, which he perceives only as a mean of getting his content released. In other words, making money. The judge cannot agree with the support of the defense in the sense that the video contents presents only one character and cannot be taken into account
out since the defendant exhibits the same attitude in the relations with the injured persons and is evident from the content of the conversations that are in these criminal prosecution files. Basically, the judge like, nah, the way you act in real life is how you're talking about these videos. So I'm not going to not use them as evidence. I cannot use them as evidence because they match. Let's get to the transcripts. Cuss. People are saying. Wait, wait, wait. You got more? Oh man. The, uh, when I say, listen, and, and just a pro tip, if you're a criminal watching, do I'm, not use WhatsApp, okay? I'm a preacher fucking, it's, they've got like this like wooden floor, it sounds like it's like creep, creeping, creaking, creaking. Do not use WhatsApp to do any of your criminal activity. They keep a record. <laughs> He's like, are you a criminal watching? There are records, there are logs, and it's easy to traceable. Bro, okay? I'm going to tell you this, don't use your phone. Do not use your phone. I'm talking about, I've had friends that were in instances where they crossed the borders and they have certain um, software that could tap in your phone and get the deleted items. You can always go get the deleted items. So that's the reason why they have burner phones. Don't use your phone. Actually, you have to use a phone, crack it, and keep on going. You know those flip phones? That's pretty much what you'd have to use. All right. So... Yeah, I digress. So these are these are leaked transcripts from the stenographer, either in the court case or leaked from the prosecutor's office. The reason why they're doing this is they like the media attention being involved in this. The prosecutor may probably have some ego involved, and he wants to let everybody know I'm going to be the person who takes down Andrew exactly. Tate. And listen, it only matters if he's got evidence to back it up, and he's done some digging. And it seems that during their eight months of searching and their uh, raids on the compound, they found quite a lot. Oh my God. Okay, so this is how Andrew Tate apparently manipulates one of the victims into flying to Romania by promising marriage. Then discusses said victim as a commodity to be used for making money. Andrew Tate says, you have to understand what the, once you're mine, you'll might be mine forever. A woman never leaves her man, and I'll be the last man in your life. What do we do if we fall in love and I kidnap you to bring you to Bucharest? And then the girl replies, I don't think it's kidnapping if I want to come. First, I have to see in your eyes that you will never be able to live. By the way, Emery is Andrew's real name. Okay, Andrew's is his middle name that he goes by. Without me, then I can trust you to show you everything. Bring a ring when you come. This is what the girl said. He says, can you be loving enough to be a wife? To always be on my side wherever I go? To talk to zero men besides me? Um, you have to move to Romania with me to keep an eye on you. You're mine. Don't ever forget that. And she says, but can I trust you? He says, yes, you can. We'll meet in Romania. And I want to know you're committed and serious about marriage. Yes, I'm serious. And when she gets there, he's like, well, we're not getting married. I want to turn you into a cam girl. Okay. So they're basically establishing that the way that he's getting these people involved in the whole business is through fraud. And if you remember what the guy said earlier in regards to some of the cri criteria that need to be met. Okay. okay. One of them is fraud. And that's what they're trying to establish with these conversations when they're released. So even though this conversation doesn't seem bad to you, you have to understand by the letter of the law and how they define human trafficking. This is one of those elements that they might incorporate in order to make that charge stick. Basically, he wasn't telling these people, hey, I'm running a can business. Come down. He's like, I want to marry you. You're going to fall in love with me. You're going to fall in love with me. He gets them all. And they were bragging about that shit on camera, both Tristan and Andrew. They, they think it's like a big fucking game, right? Where they're like, oh, yeah, these chicks just like want to be with us forever and all this shit. And they like turn them out. All the way down to Romania inside of his compound. Then he springs it on him with who? His modern. So Andrew Tate says, you're not stupid. And, you, and he's talking to one of the victims. You're not stupid. And you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. And the victim says, the webcam? And he says, I've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. Some of the girls. Right there. If this is indeed true. Again, looks bad. Guys will say it's fake and all this, but okay, looks bad. Who worked for me, I use them to do other things, to move money or illegal things, documents, and I will never do that with you. Basically telling the girl, you're different from the others. I make them do the really illegal stuff. Again, they have it right here in the wiretaps. So how can he be getting off? Like if this shit is legitimate, if this shit is valid, how will he be walking free? Money? I don't think so. Saying it's the matrix? I don't think so. Again, like people don't like when I when I say like, hey, look at all this bad stuff about him. These guys are putting out there. It's not me to blame. It's not Abba and Preach to blame. It's like looking at someone like admitting to a crime and then being like, okay, so what's going to happen next? I would venture to guess he'll go to jail. Okay, but and then people are like, no, 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 no. There's no way that'll happen. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, the him admitting to this stuff, this is going to be used in court, and you're gonna have a hard time explaining this one away. What is this <laughs> money laundering that you were doing? You can't go to the court and be like, hey, what happened was 
<laughs> I mean, scratch your head and yeah. figure shit out. Okay, so now here comes the next part. This is, the, I think, the biggest one. Tate's Angels, meaning the bottom, the two women. I mean, that's what they call them, bro. What y'all say? This is what it reads. Charlie's, they don't want to say hoes? Hey, man, listen. These are the women who work for him. The Glay Maxwells. If you don't make money, we're going to have a problem. Punch yourself in the mouth until I arrive, because then I'll give you another 10, you incurable slacker. And the other girl says, I'll break you when I get there. And the victim says, what did I do? And the bottom is, so you have one hour and 10 minutes to disappear. And the victim says, but what did I do? You're down 20% four days since you posted. And she says, if Andrew looks to see you, if you posted TikToks, you won't even have time to pack. You're flying off the balcony straight away. So what does this conversation really mean? This is where this is important. It might not mean much to y'all because you're like, well, is when they're taking this in, con in conjunction with everything else, the fraud element involved, the coercion element, the aspect of like lying about what they're really gonna be doing there, the fact that this girl who works for Tate is saying he she's gonna be punching the girl 10 times when she gets there, that there's these threats of violence, the one saying like, Andrew Tate gets home, you're gonna be flying off the balcony. Is that literally? Probably not, but there is some element there of threats of potential violence if you don't do what's needed. When you take that to court, and these are conversations that are happening in private, you understand? They're going to take this into strong consideration when they're making their case. They're going to be like, how do you explain this stuff? Oh, we're just joking. We're not going to actually make her. Well, then why is the victim terrified? And all these girls, you know, there's multiple girls have been coming forward saying they've seen him hit girls, strangle a bunch of girls, be very violent with girls. And, and girls are saying that he was violent with them, you know, personally. Girls are saying that stuff. Now, I heard about a lot of this stuff way back when I, I fucking as soon as i heard you know i just cut him off like it's 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 like a fucking no-brainer right and it, most people are like indoctrinated into his cult now and they worship him and, and all this stuff he has like global fucking influence and and he's made it out to be a big conspiracy does this look like a conspiracy to you ask yourself doesn't look like one to me not at all i'm not the fucking judge of the courts let's see what happens but it does not look good i've been saying that all throughout it looks very bad. And I just don't like those guys. I think they're fucking bad guys. I think they're a bad influence on men. And, you know, we'll see what happens. But let, let's hear the end of this. Just lying and making. You think that's going to really be a real defense in court? <clears throat> you know, the thing is, um, there's some people that are not going to believe that. Of course. There's going to be a lot of guys that are going to be like, yeah, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. And you know why? Because they actually talk like that. They talk like that with their girls. The girls, I'm saying guys, but I'm talking girls do the same shit. Oh my God, I oh my God, I swear, I'm gonna punch you in your mouth. And people talk like that on a regular basis. I was astonished at the fact, the language that some people use with their friends or with their loved ones. Yeah, but it's just, I'm just talking. It's just this, it's just that. Whenever you talk to them or whenever you check them, so, yo, listen, you cannot talk to me any kind of way. You can't talk to them about you're gonna punch me in my face. You can't tell me that you're gonna kick me in my throat. You can't do shit like that. Ah, but you know, man, I'm just, it's just, it's just talk. It ain't, it ain't real. These people are gonna be super motivated to do this. Tate moved from the UK to Romania because the justice in the UK said it was too prejudicial and they were going to come after him strong. Romania is more lax. You went to Romania, acted a fool, wanted to say anything and do anything and engage in illegal activity. Listen, you fucked around and you found out. You got to hold that L. Nobody told you to self-snitch. That's not fucked around. That's not like, fucking Like, people around. just That's... getting on camera and just calmly admitting to criminal activity is so crazy to me. People say, why would anybody do that? Why would people do that and be a public personality? Because some people got ego. Because some people don't know how to stay away from Yeah, Andrew Tate thinks he's like the fucking greatest man in the world. He's even said that on camera, right? He thinks he's like the god of the world and all this fucking shit. He's a guy that's very insecure, that's desperately trying to get attention from anyone and everyone. Okay, and he thought he was untouchable. And now you will have a rude awakening. The fucking cameras because they had too big. Look at Sam Bank for Freed, right? Dude ran FTX. Turned out to be a big old fraudster. After the fraud was discovered, you know what this idiot was doing? He was getting on live television, doing interviews, incriminating himself further. And those interviews that he did after being found out are going to be used against him in court. Why? Because some people can't stop themselves from doing stupid fucking things. And I'm sure if he had a lawyer at the time and caught... Like telling him what to do, they would say, don't do any interviews. But he couldn't help himself. Why? Because his ego. I'm just really here to see where it goes. I'm going to see where it goes. Because like Abba said, if that's what they're leaking to the press, they got some bigger thing. Bangers. 
bars everything that we just saw in this video right and there's girls as i said coming forward saying that he's raped them that he's been violent with them all this other nonsense that's just what's been shown to the public andrew tate's lawyer has not even been shown like the criminal investigation yet so like all the other like big stuff they've been investigating him since like march or april of last year that's not even exposed to the public yet so if you've seen you know like what we've seen looks very bad and in incredibly incriminating and like he's fucked but there's a lot more that we don't know about I still think it's the Matrix. Bars. But they got something bigger. And what they're going to do to court is going to be something else. It's going to be something crazier. If that's what they choose to leak to court. Anyways. All that to say. I'll wait. I'll stand by here. Mm. Okay, it's just there's a lot. There's a lot of Kanye complex that I call whenever you go on a podcast and you say, I'm going to say whatever the hell I want. And they still they, they can't they can't they can't un they can't unwork with me. And then he said some outlandish shit and was like, well, let's drop your ass and everybody started dropping and nobody wants to work that's the same kind of complex hey i can walk in this country and do whatever the hell i want i can pay this i can pay that i gotta do this 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 top g in the building yay yay and then this will happen and now he's in a romanian jail cell with 30 other dudes in a toilet in the middle where everyone gotta watch each other's shit hey listen but <laughs> yeah, they showed a picture. It's like a fucking literal hole in the ground. It looks like a total shithole. It don't look good. Hey, listen. It them transcripts, once I seen that video of him snitching, I said, it don't matter what I think. You know what it looked like? I know he didn't pay his taxes. One, because he said he didn't pay his taxes. And he didn't pay people. <laughs> and he didn't pay people. Because he admits to stealing their money. So yeah, exactly. Again, like people are like, don't give your opinion. Don't. It what more needs to be said, right? This is like literal fucking blatant evidence here. Unless those transcripts are fake, which doesn't seem like they are. Not good. Not even if they can prove that he was abusing motherfucker. Forget if they, that. If they can... Just, just, just... Yeah, I understand that. Just on those two... On the basis of those two things... Oh. Yep. But if we... Whoo, it's just like a tuna casserole. It don't look... <laughs> Highly encourage you guys. Join the challenge. We're starting tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern. If you can't make it tonight or this whole weekend at all, purchase anyways. You get 30 days access to all the recordings. For $97 extra, you get to keep it for lifetime access and you get Telegram support from me and the other coach while you're out doing the approaches. Okay, plus infields to keep, all that stuff. Everything's explained on the page. Go check that out. Let me know what you think in the comments about all this stuff with Tate. Like and subscribe and check out the video in the end screen where I dress up as the top G himself. Okay, thank you guys so much and I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.